Hey guys, how you doing? Doing a little bit different video than usual. Uh, took the old girl out tonight for, for a ride, and while I was out, I noticed a little bit of uh, surface rust on her. I was going to bring her home too and clean it up, and she's pretty dusty and dirty, but uh, I noticed some surface rust that I didn't like, and uh, started doing some research on it. You know, I used to use uh, real soft steel wool, and you know, I was talking to a guy today, and he mentioned uh, that the steel wool would actually lead to minor scratches that you don't see, and that uh, those scratches would actually lead to rust. So, I started doing a little bit of research, and I uh, saw a lot of videos on using aluminum foil. You know, I kind of questioned that, but uh, I started reading a lot about the science behind it, and there's actually a chemical reaction between the aluminum foil and the chrome. But uh, the one thing you want to make sure is to use a lubricant. I've seen uh, everywhere from water to coke to vinegar to oil. The oil I could see, water I could see, coke and vinegar, I'm, I'm a little worried about them being a little bit acidic, you know, and what uh, reactions they may have. Uh, I'd have to learn a little bit more about those. But anyway, I'm going to uh, do some close-ups of some uh, surface uh, rust I have. And we're going to do a little test and see what the aluminum foil does. I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll see what happens. Well, there's the uh, surface rust on the uh, rims. I really dislike that. Uh, I'm going to get the stuff together and let's see what we can do and see if we can clean this up with some aluminum foil. Okay, what we're going to start with is just uh, crumpled up aluminum foil. You know, and I'm not sure if, uh, if it really matters if it's the uh, shiny side or the regular side. Need to do a little bit more research in that, but uh, I heard that the uh, d dull side will work just as fine. But main thing is you want to get that uh, lubrication on there. Let's see what happens. And mind you, this isn't going to be magic. It isn't going to be touch it and it's done. There's going to be some elbow grease. You can see the dirt and rust is coming off from that. I think it's actually working. I'm going to try, I'm going to go ahead and try the chrome side, or not chrome side, the shiny side. Ah, love chrome. Chrome won't get you home, but got to love chrome. Try folding it instead. And so I, I folded the piece and uh, set the shiny side out. said I can see that there is some elbow grease involved with this it's not going to be something that's uh, just real easily done but uh, you know, as far as that goes, if it's a uh, vehicle or a motorcycle or something that you love, you know, you're not going to worry about the uh, work involved in doing it. But uh, also, to let you know that you should have been on this a long time ago. Okay. Um, this is probably after about 10-15 minutes of scrubbing. Did it do as well as I wanted? 
Probably not. Uh, I let him go a little bit longer than I should have. I tried to keep it white down in between. Uh, I can see a little bit of uh, shine. I used a little bit more than one piece of aluminum foil, uh, about five or six pieces. But uh, and there is some elbow grease involved with this. I mean, it's uh, like I said, it's not going to be just something you just get in here and touch it one time and it's just going to do away with it. I could see this would be something you want to uh, start early when you first start seeing the uh, surface rust and uh, work on it. Don't let it get bad. Anyway, that's uh, on the room there. And like I said, that's just one sp spot. Let's go over there and check the uh, foot peg and see what we can do with it. Okay, there's the uh, foot peg. Let's get in there and see what we can do with it. Oh, tearing up quickly. Wow. Now that is really... That's surprising me. That's a lot better than the rim did. I said that bolt's not a chrome bolt. I need to replace it. Might be easier to uh, take the uh, foot peg apart and work on that area. Okay. Took the foot peg off. See, she's in pretty rusty shape, pretty bad there. I'm going to uh, pause for a little bit and give this a little bit of cleaning and then we'll get back. Okay, there's the uh, foot peg after I took it apart and cleaned it up. Of course, it's going to look a little bit better on uh, video than in real life, but uh, did it help? A little bit. You know, after a certain point, uh, there's only so much you can do. You either need to uh, either deal with it or replace it. You know, you can only uh, let chrome rust for so long. But uh, anyway, I'm going to step back and we'll take a look at uh, the overall and see what, uh, what you think. Well, there she is. The old girl, she still needs a bath. But uh, clean the uh, rims up, and I think it made a difference. I don't know that it uh, cured all my problems. The area there on the uh, fender skirt, that really shined up nicely. I was really impressed with that. Uh, it was a light, lot lighter surface rust. It really cleaned up well. The foot peg cleaned up real well. Anyway, I'd like to uh, see what you guys can do with aluminum foil. Show me uh, maybe something I'm doing wrong, or if you have any suggestions, let me know. But uh, leave your comments or post a video and show me uh, what you came up with. Anyway, thanks for watching.